Cryptocurrencies are more than just about crypto bros, and NFTs are more than just about bored apes. Cryptos, NFTs, the blockchain, and the metaverse are seen as sort of techie things that are quite niche and complex to understand, but it doesn't have to be that way. So what are they all exactly, and how do they fit into the metaverse? Most understand cryptocurrency to be a digital currency. There are many technical ways to explain this, but to put it very simply, cryptocurrencies are secure and encrypted, and all transactions are recorded in a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network. These currencies are also rather volatile. But anyway, cryptocurrencies come under a larger umbrella of blockchain assets. Very broadly, there are four categories, trading platforms, tokens, cryptocurrency, and applications. Another well-known type of crypto tokens are NFTs or non-fungible tokens. These are classified as utility tokens and most see NFTs as digital artwork, although it can be many other things. NFTs can also be used to represent other non-cash assets, like a property deed to a physical house or one that exists in the metaverse. It can also be a form of smart contracts, which are basically a set of instructions to execute an action when certain conditions are met. For example, British musician Emojin Heap released a collection of audiovisual NFTs in 2021. That also contained terms and conditions for the sale, like the breakdown of payment for each contributor for the NFTs. If they wish, NFT creators can set the smart contract to ensure that they will receive a percentage of a sale every time their NFTs are bought and subsequently resold. In a nutshell, a crypto platform is a virtual one where communities can create applications and games, build NFTs, and even make their own digital currency. Ethereum is a well-known example where you can do all of the above, and the platform also has its own native cryptocurrency called Ether. There are also crypto trading platforms where you can trade cryptocurrencies. All these run on blockchain technology. Every set of new transactions is called a block, hence the name blockchain. Think of it as a digital ledger which records all the transactions in not just one place, but across the entire decentralized network of computer systems or nodes connected to it. Because every transaction is recorded and duplicated in each node of the network, that makes it very troublesome and difficult for hackers to alter or change the records. Blockchain can also be used to power backend operations like storing medical or personal records. While different cryptocurrencies can be traded on a crypto platform, they are only issued from their own native blockchain network. So only Ethereum can issue new Ether, new Bitcoin from the Bitcoin network, and so on. Crypto tokens, on the other hand, are built using blockchain platforms and can be compatible for use on other blockchain networks. For example, crypto tokens created using the Ethereum blockchain can also work on other crypto platforms like Polygon. Okay, so there was a crash course on crypto assets and the blockchain. But how does this all fit into the metaverse? Currently, when the metaverse is mentioned, people unfamiliar with it might think pixelated walls similar to online games like Hubble Hotel or Minecraft, like what I have behind me. But it can be so much more fun and exciting. In the metaverse, you can build your own place, have friends over, build and play games and lots of other fun stuff. Now, cryptocurrency and the blockchain and the metaverse can exist independently of each other, but there is opportunity for synergy. For example, to do all that fun stuff, you'll need to use cryptocurrency to buy land or NFTs. Eventually, we'll get to a future as envisioned by Mark Zuckerberg, or this.